Hello and welcome to another official PlayStation Community video. I am Serum Lake and I am joined by... Yaster, and uh, this is me playing Dead or Alive 5. As you can see, I do not have the online pass. <laughs> it's telling me that uh, throwdowns are not available. So, uh, throwdowns, just quickly, what are they? I haven't really looked into that yet, but if it's anything like um, Street Fighter 4, I guess people can match make and sort of join you in your game to challenge you. That I believe that's right? correct, yes. That's, that's my understanding of it anyway. I could be completely wrong. It's not the first time that's happened, but I believe that's correct. Now, you've gone for one of the new characters here. Which I purposely did. Um, I know that she's a new character. I don't know who the other new character is. If any. I know that there's three Virtua Fighter characters in this game, but uh, mm. which you are who you unlock in the, the story mode. Um, but I don't know who the other new characters are. You meet this, this Mila Lassie pretty early on in the game when you're playing as her. She's a sort of a mixed martial arts type yeah, type person. The other guy is uh, Rig, the oh, one, the, so. the young guy with the shaved head. I don't know what his fighting style is. It's kind of oh yeah, you, you meet him earlier in the story mode as well. That's you, right. You, yeah, you fight, you fight Bass with him. I think he's uh, he's, he's a bit like Huarang from uh, so like Huarang. Taekwondo then I suppose. Sort of taekwondo -y kind of guy. He does that whole stance where he has his foot in the air quite a lot. Hmm. Well. So straight away, you can see she's got a very fast, rapid fighting style. She very quickly shifts between limbs and integrates uh, wrestling holds quite well there. Yeah, it's the whole mixed MMA type thing. Mm. I never really amazingly understood MMA. It's like, um, to me, it just looks like kickboxing. There's more to it than that, though, because it's literally any sort of martial arts. So you could have someone that, you know, is an expert at judo fighting someone that, uh, you know... A, I don't want to say a classically trained wrestler, but you know what I mean, don't you? Like a traditional wrestler like as opposed to... Olympic wrestler. Or yeah, something. as opposed to a, like a professional sports entertainer type. That was me there just realising that you can actually do a further hold on somebody after you... That's right. Because like, which kind of like means that she's a sort of a grapple type character, I guess, really, to a certain extent. Yeah. Um, so, Dead or Alive 5 just came out this week. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 just came out like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Why should we uh, buy this over that? Or should we? Or should we just buy them both? <sighs> well, oh, that's that's me like moving the camera around the character at their winning <laughs> yeah. pose. But you can also do that in their their um, their defeated pose as well. Actually. Yeah, we'll see some of that in a minute, won't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see that <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would actually say these are two very different fighting games. Um, Dead or Alive is certainly... I, I would say it's much more fast paced and I, I think it's actually in some regards easier to play because it's much more button mashing friendly yeah. it's very easy to string together combos whereas in Tekken there's a very strict rhythm to each character yeah. whereas with Dead or Alive you know so long as you've got a kind of a rough idea each character handles in similar ways and you just performed a wonderful new power blow there didn't you? Yeah. They're a new addition in this game aren't they where you can uh, charge up your attack and you got a trophy yay! I saw, I saw. Once again, this is me playing on someone else's machine for the first time, oh. so it's, I'm, I'm re-getting all the trophies, because <laughs> I, I didn't synchronize. I must be kicking him about three times. Yeah, trying to knock him off the edge, but oh no, he, he knocked you off me. the edge. This is one of the things I really like about Dead or Alive, the fact that there's so much environmental interactivity. Yeah. You, know, you can smash them through walls, uh, you can knock them off platforms and head, head down into a lower tier. Uh, one of my favourite stages on this actually is inside someone's house, and you can—it's a Japanese-style house with yeah. uh, the the paper oh, walls. Oh, you can just lock them through walls. And yeah, that. you just smash them through walls, through tables. I haven't uh, seen that yet. Uh, it's it's in the story mode, which I finished the other day, and I uh, was left scratching my head because I didn't understand a single thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was fun to play, so yeah. that's all that matters in my book. I mentioned earlier that um, I, I know that you unlock the Virtua Fighter characters by playing the story mode. I just unlocked Akira the other day there. Mm. I didn't really ever play as much as Akira in Virtua Fighter, but you do get Sarah and Pi, and Pi's a, Pi's a character that I used to play as well. But how well do the Virtua Fighter characters work in Dead or Alive? Do they translate well? Um, yes, they do, actually. I've only played as Sarah, actually, yeah. but um, it still feels like uh, Virtua Fighter. Yeah. So uh, you, you but faster. Would you say that the franchises um, work well? And yeah, I'd, I'd say they're very compatible. Yeah. What, do you know what? Do you know what the deal with that is? I mean, why are why are there virtual fighter characters in Dead or Alive this time around? Um, I would suggest the reason is that Sega's trying to kind of get the virtual fighter brand out there a bit more, and we've already seen 
uh, Street Fighter cross Tekken and there's going to be Tekken cross Street Fighter yeah. so I think that was kind of a, a subtle nod towards that is, is there not a business reason I think um, aren't Sega like a, a publishing partner of uh, this game this time around oh, I don't know about that actually I didn't see the Sega name anywhere no I didn't see that either I was only, I was only just thinking about that just there it does actually make um, these, these games do kind of go hand in hand at this particular time in the, this console lifestyle because uh, it, like, it life cycle because we haven't seen either Dead or Alive or Virtua Fighter. We hadn't seen them since mm. the beginning of the, this console life, uh, life cycle until now, th this year. Yeah. We've only just had like an had an update to Virtua Fighter and the <laughs> character sort of moving around thing, but the feet. Uh, we haven't actually seen a Virtua Fighter until just the other day there. And Dead or Alive, we've we've seen Dead or Alive. It was kind of in at risk of people assuming that the game was a, a beach volleyball game. Mm. Or like that funny sort of life type game which came out with the PSP, Dead or Life Paradise, remember that? No, I don't actually. I think I may have actively avoided it. Uh, check, check out <laughs> Dead or Life Paradise. It's uh, it's an interesting game. It doesn't have any KOs or anything like that. No like power moves. Yeah. See, I'm just a, a fan of the pure Dead or Alive fighting. I didn't really think very much of the volleyball game, although you know it, it had its merits, but it wasn't really for me. But I very much like the fighting in this. It's got such a brilliant, fast pace to it, and it's so smooth and fluid. If you have read previews, watched preview videos, listened to um, video reviews, you will probably know about the whole triangle system of the. Uh, That's right. The tactical system. For it. And I, 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 I actually noticed that so many people were mentioning this. I'll explain what it is in a minute. But when we got this copy of the game in. I looked at the manual, and there it is there, a picture of a triangle with the different <laughs> types of moves in it. Yeah. It's like, that's why people are talking about it, that's why people are mentioning that. Basically, um, certain moves can be countered by other... There's three, there's three basic types of moves. There's, oh, there's me going on the back. This is the first time that I got downed. Mm. So, um, and you've I, unlocked online titles there that are associated yeah. with your account now. Yeah. I just, just so you know, I, I, do, I do get defeated quite a lot of times in this video. So you've got um, attacks like punches and kicks, and then there's also holds, and then there's throws. And apparently one counters the other. It's like scissors, papers, stone. Mm. So um, hold, just so you know, is basically... Um, so it's the counter, basically. It's a counter, it? yeah. It's, um, I always found them very tricky to pull off. I think he did one on me there. Yes. Um, and that's me, that's me, I think that's me, was that me? Uh, uh, that's just a throw. A throw is obviously a, a hold, it's a, it's, a, it's a grab, a grab move. Yeah. And I've already done a couple of this her. But um, you have to press the square button and hold the joystick in a, uh, the, the D-pad or the joystick in a certain direction. Mm. But you can hit somebody high in the middle or low down, and you kind of have to read their moves to know what exactly. to do. And there's timing as well. Yeah, as you play the game more and become more familiar with the characters' combos, you'll get better at doing the counters and the, uh, the holds. Yeah. Because if you can tell what they're going to do straight away then you'll do a full-on counter you won't get hit at all you'll just knock them out of the way and hit them really hard but if you know if you're caught in a combo and you know what they're going to do you are able to perform a hold which will then break their combo and deal a little bit of damage and get you free so naturally holds will um, counter the attacks that's right throws will counter the holds that's right and the attacks will counter the uh, um, throws. throws. Yes, there we go. So that, that's that's what the whole scissors, paper, stone thing is. Mm. But obviously the game is a lot more deeper than that, you know. Yes. I think um, sidestepping, you know, the whole kind of being able to sidestep is new to Dead or Alive, is that right? Yeah, well, it's it's always, well, not always been there. It's been there for a while, but it's never had such a tactical feature. You know, it's never been actively promoted as a tactical feature as it is in this game. Because when you play through the story mode, each level has an optional challenge that teaches you a new technique mm -hmm. and completing those techniques unlocks uh, a new title for your account. So the whole point of playing through the story mode is to learn all of the various techniques and it just gets more and more complicated as it goes along but it, you will gradually become a better player if you stick it out and try to complete as many of those optional objectives as possible. Talking about uh, becoming a better player, have you had a chance to play the game online quite a bit? I've played it twice online. 
I saw somebody doing this at Eurogamer, and I, just doing that. I, oh, I I remembered that it had that in the previous game, and I just thought to myself, that is like fan service for people that just want to like ogle glasses. Yeah, and I'll tell you something else that's a, a massive bit of fan service is the spectator mode, where you can have. You can basically just set up computer opponents to battle each other and then activate a camera mode and you can take photographs oh, of really? the fights. Yeah, and you can actually pause the action and then line up the perfect angle. Nice one, nice one. I think, uh, <laughs> I think uh, Bear Scoff is uh, laughing at that. I, I bear scoffed. I scoffed at that. He's saying that, <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, he says that he scoffed at that. Yeah, Bear scoffed it. Brilliant. Scoffed it down. Um, so yeah, perhaps we'll be seeing him sharing his dead or alive photography art later, at some point in the future. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be making the most of that mode. <laughs> That's a good idea for a little competition there, actually. Who knows? Yeah. Don't know if legal will approve that. <laughs> Make a little note. Uh, <laughs> screenshot thread. Keep Blair away from me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just writing on your stationery here. That's fine. I forgive you. It, that's what it's there for. Yes, I won that match. I like, I like that victory pose because she's just like, yeah, come on, you're right. And that's me like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to linger too much on the uh, posterior there, but I, I'm kind of interested in finding out what that says. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else then. <laughs> Look, I was just trying to read her shorts, okay? <laughs> I, wa I want to read what it says in the shorts. Yeah, I, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. I'm, I'm sure you have, but another new feature in this game that's featured very prominently in the, the box art and the promotional material is that the characters now sweat. Yes, uh, dynamic, uh, you know, while Mortal Kombat, uh, the characters will lose, like, they'll, they'll get cut and they'll bleed and bits of clothing will sort of like rip and stuff like that. In this game, they sweat. Mm. Which obviously is sexier than um, bleeding. I suppose so. <laughs> Talk I about uh, <laughs> talking about. It reminds me of the, the the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat where they sweated instead of bleeding. <laughs> but that was that game wasn't all that sexy, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, oh, that's wonderful. I, I like that. The, this, this guy was really asking for that. I mean, he, he he beat me in the first round, so I knocked him over the sandbags, then knocked him back over the sandbags, and he got hit by a big tank. Yeah, that'll learn you. <laughs> I have no further retort. <laughs> Bass is obviously based on Hulk Hogan. Yes. He's got a wonderful uh, unlockable costume, actually. In the story mode, he returns. After retiring from wrestling, he returns to the ring to dissuade his daughter, Tina, from entering the Dead or Alive tournament. But he doesn't want anyone to know who he is, so he wears a... I believe it's like a bright red mask with a big red cape. Isn't that based on uh, something that Hulk Hogan actually did? Did he not return as a different character? Uh, as Hollywood Hogan wearing the black outfit but it's basically Hulk Hogan with black in his beard That's, I never understood this character she's like she's like some sort of high school student yeah and this this looks like me sort of crashing like a a, a school like a, trip or something or like a, like a, like an under 18s disco or something <laughs> like that just battering all the kids or like it's like someone's uh, it's, like a, it's like these really rich families that uh, where the, the dad like gets you like a a circus in mm. your living room or something like that. Yep, you rich kids, damn you! Look, she hasn't. She can't even afford proper clothes. In fact, she's not even got any shoes. Oh, oh I missed that. Let's rewind it. <laughs> victory, victory! Spin around. Yeah, you can see the sweat there. This uh, this guy, this guy. The he, um, there's there is like I said there is a story mode and just as a reference point it's kind of a little bit like uh, Mortal Kombat's one in that uh, there are cutscenes and you play through chapters when you're playing as different characters and you're interacting right. with the others. Now I don't think that was in the other games. No, it wasn't. Is this a case where we're now and it's kind of like this is kind of like with Street Fighter Four? I noticed that because of the technology and the uh, the space on the disc which is available, there is a lot more character that you can get from these characters mm. by the voice acting and you know, yeah. story right, the storytelling. Of I course, because in the old days it all used to be in the instruction manual, didn't it? Mm. Whereas now they have like fully voiced characters with rather limited motivations, but you know it's still a character yeah. arc. 
in the case of uh, Mortal Kombat, there was already the Mortal Kombat films released, so we mm. already know what kind of character Johnny Cage is. Yeah. But here we are getting in introduced, as it were, to a lot of these other characters here as well. They, al they already ha they always had uh, storylines. Oh, that's kind of painful. This guy's an idiot. How many times did I lose to him? Oh, a couple. But he's very much a grab and counter focus character, isn't he? He's yeah. not very fast uh, in terms of like punching and kicking, I but he can just anything you throw at him, he can reverse it, and he can grab people mid air as well. Because he was doing my nothing when I was playing that. He is a bad man. He's a ba he's a B man. Yeah, that's his character's name. There you go. That's that's <laughs> him. That's him defeating me. Him beating now, me what down. do those shorts say? Oh, does it? Does uh, it? Oh, yeah, I can't read it's it. Kind of it's upside that. down. That's me moving the camera away, so <laughs> just to hide our. Sorry. Hide her shame. Hide her shame. <laughs> this is a good character, but um, you know I can't even remember the name of some of the characters that I used to play as. There was a character that I did play as. It wasn't uh, Christy or anything like that. It was like one of the um, one of the other characters. One of the characters that's on the bottom row. Was it Helena? That wasn't Helena. No, she was uh, uh, she was an Eastern character. Oh. Um, not Mariposa. I think no. she's. I think she's Western. But, um, ah, I don't know. Oh. Not like Lee Fang. No, it's not, not E. Annie. Not, it may have been Lee Fang, actually, but maybe there was another character in his name. Coco, no, Kokomo. It's, it's, it's your Beach Boys character. Nah. Um, that was that lassie that we saw earlier in, in the circus. Mm. Um, but yeah, anyway, there was a character that I used to play as, and I've yet to play as a lot of the other characters. Obviously, the game, the story mode, does force you to play characters. Yeah. Which is good. It's a good like uh, good intro to it encourages you to play as a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, I think the story mode is best served as a way of teaching you how to play the game. Yeah. Because obviously it's got those side missions where you have to um, perform certain moves in order to achieve the bonus objective. Yeah, it's kind of like a. Um, I don't want to say it's tutorial. If you want to, if you want a tutorial that's a story mode, then you know the, the Tekken Tag Tournament sort of combat lab is is a good example of that. Mm. But it has hints. It's a story mode. It has hints. You know, I don't. You can't adjust the 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 difficulty, but you managed to get through okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't too problematic. The only problem I had was trying to win and achieve uh, achieve the objectives. Is there any kind of incentive to do that? Is there a trophy or is it? Uh, do you unlock? I, I don't think there's a trophy for doing it, but I believe. Uh, unlocking them all contributes towards unlocking a bonus character. I th that's what I've heard, but I can't confirm that because I haven't <laughs> haven't unlocked all of the titles yet. All right, but on the character selection screen, is there are there, there any is there's still a gap. There's still a gap. Mm. So actually, do you have uh, which of the virtual character characters have you had? I've got Akira and Sarah so far. So there are, there is. I mean, it's, it's known that Pi is in the game. Yes, but I don't know how you unlock him at the moment. Her. Uh, sorry. <laughs> As a female character. Uh, obviously, obviously, because this says Dead or Alive. Yes. <laughs> like, more than 50% of the characters are female. In yeah, game. it's the most, I'd say, gender equal fighting game out there, easily. Alright, well, I am about to kick this guy's bottom. At last. At last. Defeat your rival. In fact, yeah, yeah. So, uh, actually, I think, he, I think he gets me in the. Oh, no, I get him there. Well, thanks very much for um, watching us play this. Uh, we've got a couple of seconds left here. Um, Community.eu.playstation.com. Check out the fighting game forum there. New costume, yay! yay. <laughs> um, this has been Yaster. And Serum Lake. Thanks very much for watching and see you guys later. Online pass. <laughs> Curse you. <laughs> <laughs>